Hi, it's Monday, April 21st, 2014. I'm uh, Jeremy Shea, the producer of Gavel Alaska. Um, it's another beautiful day in Juneau. So uh, yesterday, Sunday, Easter, was uh, day 90 of the legislative session, which is supposed to be the final day of the session as narrowly mandated by voters in that 2006 ballot initiative, um, which set the length of a regular legislative session to 90 days. State constitution, however, still says no more than 120 days. So as you probably know, the legislature did not end the regular session last night. Uh, they ran past midnight. They kept meeting until about 4 a.m. Uh, they didn't adjourn. They didn't extend. They didn't call a special session. They just kept going. Um, they still haven't finished. They've got a few monster pieces of legislation still outstanding. outstanding so now it's Monday. It's day 91. Um, so that was a pretty big fail. Um, is there a consequence for the legislators? Not, not really. Um, the legislature basically has statutory immun impunity, immunity um, to, conduct, to conduct its business, specifically to conduct its business. Um, they have to violate the Constitution for anything to really stick, but there's, uh, there's definitely a lot of grumpy people. But, um, so by going long, some big voter initiatives got bumped off the August primary ballot. But, uh, but not that SB 21 repeal, that's a referendum, remember? So, so the oil tax referendum remains in August. Uh, legalizing pot, raising the minimum wage will be pushed back to November for the general election. But here's uh, a list of big legislation still outstanding. SB 64, this is the Crime and Corrections Reform Bill, which, uh, which needs Senate concurrence. HB 278, the big education package. Uh, this is what they quit on in the Senate last night just because it was... It was 4 a.m. and then this is a monster piece of legislation it includes um, BSA funding increases or not necessarily BSA but education funding increases and a host of other different uh, education changes making charter schools easier to attend um, uh, repealing the X exam lots and lots and lots of things besides funding in there it's likely to go to conference committee because the House and Senate cannot agree on uh, what they want to do with it SB 119 this is the 2.1 billion dollar capital budget that's still in the House SB 108, which seals uh, some certain justice system records of folks that have been charged, arrested with criminal stuff, but not convicted. Um, basically, this hurts transparency, but it helps innocent people who got caught up in something and ultimately got off. Um, it needs uh, Senate concurrence to go anywhere to get to the governor's desk. And HB 23, the Kinnick Arm Bridge mega project bill, it still needs House concurrence. Um, as I'm recording this, the legislature is just reconvening, so the status of that legislation may be out of date already when you watch this. Here are some big things that did get through to the governor last night. Uh, HB 385, the PERS-TERS $3 billion pay-down plan. Um, that's either on the governor's desk or signed maybe by now. SB 138, the gas pipeline bill made it to the governor. HB 216, the native languages as official state languages bill. Um, the Senate had a bunch of activists sitting in all afternoon, all night, waiting for that to go through, and they finally took the vote on it at 3 a.m., so that's headed of the governor. Eight, SB 218, the Alaska Municipal Bond Bank, um, they raised their, their bond limits, uh, their borrowing limits, basically. And uh, but also, this bill also includes some, some a financing plan for University of Alaska Fairbanks' power plant, new power plant. Um, and HB 246, this is not that big a deal, but I don't know. Um, I'll throw it in here. This is the uh, Creamers Field Bird Refuge in the Fairbanks area, and um, also the well, Lieutenant Governor's official residence is now, if the governor signs it, the House of Wickersham here in Juneau. Okay, thanks for watching. Um, yeah, like I said, as I'm recording this, legislature is just reconvening, so take that uh, status list with a gate of salt. Thanks.